Mummy, get out of the way. Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Please move that way. <laughs> you just want to scratch, I know. Emma. No. <laughs> They're both on my windowsill and they will not let me film. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi! I'm not going to be wearing full face today because it's very very hot. It's at least 36 degrees today. Today I am going to be cleaning my birdcage as you've already read the title. Hi, this is why you're here obviously. I'm going to be cleaning my birdcage, showing you how I do that and I'm also going to be kind of revamping it. I'm going to go to a couple of pet shops and see what they have to offer because I want to treat these girls. It's been a while since I've brought them some new toys and some new things for their cage so I don't know, I'm just going to go for a brown see if they have anything cool. I'm also going out and I'm buying a brand new desk chair. Basically, this chair is so ugly in my room. Like, I don't like it very much. So I'm going out and I'm buying a brand new chair. And you guys, how we don't squeak into the microphone. Oh my God. So last night, I actually went onto Instagram and I was like, hi, Instagram, I'm changing my desk chair. Can you guys pick out a new one for me? And I gave two options. You guys have voted and the votes are in. I'm going to be getting the white chair like i don't know it's a little bit messy let's um let's not mind that at all but yeah so my desk is here it's a neutral colored and then i've got like neutral colored paintings above the desk and just it's so dark over here because of the black chair and the black monitor i want to light it up so i'm gonna get rid of this chair completely it's going and i'm gonna replace it with a brand new chair that isn't actually a desk chair it's a dining chair but you know what it's all about the aesthetic you know me now so first things first we gotta go and get the stuff so Let's go into my cute outfit. Look at these cute pants. I love them so much. I will be back very soon and I'm gonna clean this cage. And it's kinda nasty. I'm gonna turn on the air conditioner for an hour. So it's gonna be nice and cool. The fan is on for them. They're gonna be chilling. Um, Cause it's gonna get very, very hot very, very quickly. So I need to grab my glasses and my drink bottle. And I think that's all we need. Yeah, let's go get a desk chair and some new bird toys. I wanted to show you guys my mask because I think, <laughs> I think you guys are gonna really like it. It has little cockatiels on it. I got it from Etsy. I think that's how you say that. I don't know if I can put this on with one hand. Oh, yeah, baby, look at that. Isn't that so cute? All right, we found our chair. How's it feeling? They are very comfortable. Woo, we brought the chair. High five. Woo. Kill it here, because the girls have been really good. I think they deserve a little bit of a treat. We need a cuddle bone. There's not too many toys to choose from. Oh my god! He's so fluffy. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear me because the music is literally blasting in this store. I'm instantly falling in love with this toy. I think it's really nice. It's also twenty four dollars. I'm not rich, but like my birds deserve it, you know. I'll just use their cage. Look at that, three hundred bucks, and you've got yourself a nice cockatiel cage. That's what you need. This one has a nice lock on it though. Ours does not. I can't even open that. All right, none of that. All right, so we are just gonna grab some lunch and then we're gonna go home and I'm gonna start cleaning that birdcage. Okay, so now that the desk is all nice and clean, I get to put down the desk chair, which is actually a dining chair, but it's fine, you know? That's such a cute look. Oh my God. It doesn't probably fit under, but like, oh. That is a vibe. Yeah. What do you think, Emma? Looking good? Is that a no or a yes? So yeah, I'm very, very happy. So if you guys did vote on my Instagram story, thank you so much for helping me make that decision because it was a big decision. I'm very indecisive and I would not have done that without you guys. So thank you. I'm gonna start cleaning their cage in just a second. But first, I wanna show you all the little goodies that I actually got for them. We got some millet. Now this is my first time feeding the birds millet. I just haven't really had the chance to get it because it's been so expensive and way out of my price range. And then I also got a little toy as well. So this grit stuff is really great for their beaks and their claws. It trims it down naturally. And it's also just really good for them in general. So it's not concrete, it's not cement, it is 
humus. Um, and then along with that, I also got this little toy. It's made of little woven bits and pieces. And honestly, this is going to be all over my floor in a matter of 20 seconds. So it's fine. Then I went ahead and got this sanded down natural wooden perch. I would normally go out into the wilderness and actually get my own perch, but I just haven't found the right one. And then last but not least, I got them some cuttlefish bones because they love cuttlefish bones. They'll destroy one of these in 2.1 seconds as well. All right, so I'm gonna start cleaning the chicken's little cage. Um, as you can see, it's not the dirtiest, but you know, it's also a little bit ick. I gotta change the paper and I gotta clean all the sticks. I don't know how that happens, but they get poop on the side of the toys. Yeah, Emma, I'm looking at you. Like clean out this, like what the heck is going on here? And I gotta clean out their food thing. I don't know how, but it always gets so cloudy. So I'm gonna give that a nice wash. I've got a towel that I'm going to be laying out all their toys onto. Got my bin bag. I've got some unscented baby wipes to be cleaning like the bottom area here. Got some paper towel, some warm water and a bucket to like put all their toys and bits and pieces in. By the way guys, I'm very sorry about the poop. Like obviously you're watching a bird cage cleaning video. You're going to be seeing lots and lots of poop. All right, so let's get into it. First things first is I'm going to be clearing out this little section. I'll just go around the edges and get like all the little poopy bits. Yeah, it's gonna be lots and lots of fun. When you are cleaning your bird cage, you can't use any chemicals. You can only use warm water, some tough scrubbies and paper towel kind of thing. Like you can't use chemicals. You can't use any like sprays, nothing. You don't want harmful chemicals on your bird cage. So keep that in mind. And I'm only using the baby wipes. Clean around the cage and the cage stand. So it does get pretty nasty. I don't know how or why, but the poop just seems to end up in places that I can't seem to imagine how it actually got there. Like embarrassingly, there's poop on the walls. Like that's super duper embarrassing, but it's the reality of when you own birds. That is the hard truth. All right, so I'm gonna take the tray out. I'm gonna start taking all their toys out. Let's deep clean this baby. Oh, I'm already so exhausted. I'm just like, oh, this is a hard job. The joys of being a bird owner, it's so much fun. So basically what I'm gonna do is just simply scrub at the cage, try and get as much poop off as I can. Yeah, it's honestly, that's all that happens. Now the birds are gonna freak out because I'm shaking the cage, but I mean, you guys can fly away. Like you have wings. How did you get poop on the lock? What the hell? Okay, the door is clean. Now for the rest of the cage. Alright, so I've gone through and like got rid of all the poop that was around this area and like in the little corners here. There's still like quite a few like marks and stuff that I can't seem to get off, but that's all good. The girls are happily preening now. They do not give a heck that I'm cleaning their cage for them. Like a thank you would be nice, ladies. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this stick now and then I'm going to be tackling these sticks down here. So Wish me luck. I've just turned my air con on, by the way, so I'm terribly sorry if you could hear that. Once again, just some warm water and a paper towel, and I'm just gonna clean it like that. Now that that is all, you know, done, I'm gonna go and soak these toys and then I'm gonna start setting up the cage again. Whew. Okay, well now that the cage is all clean, I am going to go ahead and like put it back together, obviously. So, just like that. And then, I'm gonna go ahead with two catalogs and just line the bottom of the tray and the bottom of the cage. I know they like cuddle bone, so I'm gonna pop the cuddle bone. Actually, I should put the sticks in first, that makes sense. We got stick number one in there. So I've got these two C 
grass patches. These are going in next. So I'm just gonna stick those on the sides where they can play around with them. I've got these little mini wooden pegs. What do you think, Emma? What you thinking, Charlie? You like a new home? Really? I mean, it's not really new, but revamped home. Damn, the cage is looking so good. I don't know if you guys can hear me because I've got the air con on because it's so hot. I'm just having a little break because I'm really, really exhausted. I've just spent the last three hours, guess it's been three hours, cleaning the bird cage. It's looking very, very nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a break. I'm waiting for those last little toys to kind of dry and then I will pop them in and I'll do like a cage tour kind of thing, like talking about all the things that I've got in the cage, where I got them from, if I can remember. Yeah, just show you some like super cute bird footage kind of things. So this is one of their favorite ones, of course. I gotta put it back. Then secondly, is this dodgy looking toy? Um, I really don't like this toy. It's kind of like... But this is Charlie's favorite toy, so of course I have to put this in the cage as well. I think it's complete, guys. I'm very, very excited. The last thing to do is to give you a cage tour, so let's do that. All right, so this is the brand new crib, looking very nice, very swell. First things first, they've got their water, all their toys. They've got a millet strung up over there, which they haven't touched. They're a little, little bit scared of it. Now the calcium sticks are actually really, really groovy. They're actually designed to help their feet relax and help their legs relax. They have this beautiful little texture on them that isn't too harsh on the bird's feet and toes. They're also a great natural beak trimmer and nail trimmer, which is amazing. But yeah, my girls love sleeping on the two calcium sticks in the corner. I think Emma always takes that one and Charlie's always up there. And then we have the lovely cuttlefish bone down there. A cuttlefish bone are well known for giving a great source of calcium to your birds. They're they're also a great natural beak trimmer as well. <laughs> but yeah, if I had to pick anything in this cage to be Emma's favorite thing, it would 100% be the cuttlefish bone. Like that is Emma's favorite. Charlie's favorite thing in this cage, it would have to be this toy here. She loves it so much. All right, now we've got the two seagrass mats. There's one there and there's one there. These are really perfect for foraging and keeping a cockatiel super entertained throughout the day. Plus these were only $2 from Bunnings. So you know what, I'm honestly, not complaining they're so groovy and then down the bottom of the cage and in the little tray underneath as well i have some catalogs from my favorite store now i feel like i shouldn't have to explain this but i feel like someone's gonna nitpick me in the comments so the catalogs are a-okay -okay to use they're paper so that's the best lining for your cage if you're looking for the perfect liner for your bird cage it's paper also with the catalogs i also tested to make sure that they don't leak ink um it's always a good thing to do if you have catalogs because they can leak ink and it can be you know a little bit toxic to your birds not a little a very very toxic situation for your birds now before i get any of those cheeky oh you're feeding your bird like fattening things you're so abusive kind of comments i just want to say that my chickens are very very happy and very very healthy i have checked with the avian vet countless times to make sure that what i'm feeding my birds is a-okay -okay and to make sure that their weight is not going down or not going up i also just wanted to say that cockatiels are one of the few parrots that can actually have seed in their diet so a little bit of seed isn't going to be harmful for them they actually really really enjoy it they love variety because they love variety that is why i mix in the rainbow pellets with the natural pellet but yeah they also get some apple and some spinach in the mornings and then some carrot throughout the afternoon but i actually ran out of carrot today but yeah i know i shouldn't have to explain myself but i just feel like there's always one person out there to like ruin the fun so I'm on to them. So with that out of the way, I also wanted to show you guys the branches that I have in the cage. So all the little nice, lovely branches that you see in there, um, those are Australian gum tree branches. Now, luckily enough, I live in Australia, so I can go out into the wilderness and grab some gum tree branches for my cage here. If you were to see wild cockatiels here in Australia, which I sometimes do, they love foraging and nesting in the gum trees. Some natural branches for your cockatiels as well is also a great stress relief for their feet. Um, you don't want those dowel perches because those can actually ruin your bird's feet and cause a lot of sores and blisters over time. But yeah, so it's always very, very ideal to get natural branches. I took them home, I sanded them down a little bit and then I washed them and then I just let them air dry overnight and then bam! I recommend doing some research on the branches you want to get in your bird cage. Just make sure that they're not from a toxic tree because that will be obviously very bad for your birds. There's many, many lists to check out online that's going to tell you what's safe and what's not safe. What the heck is that? 
What the heck is that? <laughs> okay, you've been begging for scratches all day. There you go. <gasps> Okay, so before I end the video, I'm just gonna answer two questions that I get all the time. Number one, I'm not sure where I got this cage from. I'm so terribly sorry. I got it gifted to me by my mom and it was about four years ago since I've had this cage now. So I'm so terribly sorry. I don't know where I got this cage from. I don't know what it's called, but I know that you can get some similar ones on Amazon and I will link that down below. Um, and also this little food thing, it's called a seed mate. It sounds very, very Australian, so I'm not actually sure if you can get it anywhere else. Obviously you can. I like I don't know what it's called. Alright guys, well I'm gonna leave it there for today because I am low-key exhausted. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this journey with me today. We cleaned the bird cage. It's looking very fresh over there, not gonna lie. The girl's got some brand new toys, which is amazing, and I got a brand new desk chair, and it's looking very, very cute. So anyway, I am going to love you and leave you guys, and I will see you in my next video next Friday. So, ciao for now.